And the next thing is this ghoul caller challenge. Let's see how it goes. You know, I kind of sworn I had unlocked three. I guess something glitched out somewhere. But now I've unlocked three again. Let's see. Ghoul caller. You know, I actually kind of forget which one this is. I think this is where he makes me discard a bunch. So I want to be careful what I get rid of. See, I don't want to discard that because I don't want him to have it. I'll discard that. For, I don't want to discard that either. But I don't really have a reasonable chance of playing that. I think I think I want a new hand. You know, I'm just going to go with it. And unfortunately, goodbye. So I'm going to need a planes. Probably gonna get rid of intangible virtue there. Oh great, he's got the living grave. I am so dead this game. I think this matchup is particularly bad for me here because uh, this deck doesn't really have creature removal, so... I only get what I get and he gets whatever he happens to mill or make me discard. So... Like, he has a much better choice than what I can reasonably cast. Which he'll be able to do next turn. And I don't know what I can do about it. Like, here, I... I need the land, but I also need a dude. And this guy makes more dudes. But not unless I have another dude out. You know, if I play this to get two more dudes, then I'm going to be forced to discard him next No, I won't be forced to discard next turn because he's going to rise to the grave. He's got good targets. So I may as well get a couple of dudes in there. Still, I am way losing this race. But I am going to be forced to discard him. Because I cannot get the rest of the mana necessary to cast him. He's got Trample, too. I'm just going to go ahead and play it out, and then in my next video, I will have retooled my deck down to 60. Oh, look. Guess what goes away? See, look at all these... High casting cost creatures that, like, I don't need all of those in a deck. And, especially here, they're just working against me. 
I remember when Overrun was two green and three. Not that it would make a difference here. Rawr! He'll just take the two, I, su I assume. Well, maybe not. I mean, his tokens are disposable. And it's not like he would have killed me on this coming turn anyway. Guess what's gonna get this guarded? Wait, what? Why in the... W I have no cards in hand. There is no reason for him to hold back. I do not understand. I know that's the wrong thing. Uh, he's definitely got me next turn no matter what I do. Oh, even better. What's this? Huh. I would be forced to do that. I still take eight and die, but whatever. And you know what? It doesn't even matter because that just puts him in my graveyard where he can rise him again. Alright, I'm going to go to the campaign, uh, the deck manager finally, and actually trim my deck for the first time. So, hopefully this won't go quite so badly.